Hello and welcome to this video. The purpose of this video is to show how to compute probabilities associated with a normal random variable. So to begin, let's assume x is a normal random variable. It has a mean of 10 and a variance of 4, which means that its standard deviation will be the square root of 4, which is 2. And let's suppose that we want to compute the probability that x is less than 11. One way to compute this probability is to convert x into a standard normal random variable and then use probabilities associated with the standard normal random variable which are typically tabulated say at the end of a book. So to convert x to a standard normal random variable we subtract the mean so in this case we want to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 11 so we will take 11 subtract the mean which is 10 and divide by the standard deviation which is 2 and when I do that I get one half. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 11 is the probability that z, which is a standard normal random variable, is less than or equal to one half. And looking this up in a table, I get that this is approximately 0 0.691. I can also perform the same computation in Excel. So again, if I want the probability that x is less than 11, I'll put 11 in, we need to convert 11 into a standard value. And so I do that as follows. I take 11 and subtract the mean, which in this case is 10, and divide by the standard deviation. And that gives me 0 0.5. So now I can use the norm s dist function. This is basically a normal standard distribution. And I put in my z value and hit return and it tells me that the probability that z is less than 0.5 is 0.69146246. This is also the probability then that x is less than 11. Another approach I can use is to use Excel and compute the probability that x is less than or equal to 11 directly using the norm dist function. And I can do this by noting that this probability, as we've defined it here, the probability that x is less than or equal to 11, is a cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution evaluated at 11. Again, this is a normal distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. So to do this in Excel, I can do the following. Again, I'll put down an 11. That's the value we're looking at. And then I do the norm dist function. And the value is 11. The mean is 10. The standard deviation is 2. And I'm going to put true because I want this to be the cumulative distribution function. And when I do that, I get 0 0.69146246, which is the same as we got before. Isn't that great? I can use a similar approach to find the probability that x lies between 8 and 11. Again, by the definition of the cumulative distribution function, this probability be, can be expressed as the probability that x is less than 11, which is the cumulative distribution function at 11, minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 8, which is the cumulative distribution function of 8. If I go to Excel, I can do it this way. I'll keep this value that I've already computed. Again, this was 11. This is the cumulative distribution function evaluated at 11. I'll add an 8 and actually just copy this down. So this point 15865525 is norm dist with x equal to 8, the mean of 10, the standard deviation of 2, and true for the cumulative distribution function. And again, this represents the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. And now I can find the probability that x is between 11 and 8 by taking this number and subtracting this number. And you can see the probability that x is between 11 and 8 is 0 0.53280721.
So hopefully this helps you see how to compute probabilities for normal random variables using Excel.